What's up, gang? It's the D again. Black by popular demand. Seeing deathmatch. And we're here for yet another round of deathmatch. Let's do this. So, if you've seen some of my other videos, and judging by the view count, you haven't, uh, I like to talk a lot about just my general thought process playing the game. Uh, hearing some other guys, really good players, put their uh, videos up. They talk about what they're thinking when they play and how they like to approach the game, and it's helped me a lot. And that's what I like to do. We're here on Wasteland. Everyone considers this the sniping map, and for good reason. The terrain is mostly flat, and you have very long sight lines. I have had great success with the assault rifles, but it's a totally different approach to the game. Here I'm using the Barrett and, of course, stopping power. I go uh, fast reload. I don't know why, though. A scavenger would be probably just as good. And, of course, Ninja Pro, standard. Gotta do that. I get so many kills by hearing people. Let's see, what am I doing here? Okay, they have a UAV up, I think. So I'm retreating, because I'm all by myself, and I'm gonna be uh, sticking out like a sore thumb here on people's UAV. So I'm gonna use this cover. I wanna keep my distance. Distance is your best friend with a sniper rifle, especially on this map. People can see you coming a mile away. Other maps, you can get closer, do a more quick scoping, not so much here. Okay, I know there's a guy over here. I know it. I saw him fire. I know he's got a sniper rifle, but I just can't acquire him visually. And I'm about to get owned. Yeah. Let's see. And he's got the thermal. Thermal scope on this map. Everybody loves it. He's at an advantage. He can see a little better than me, but I have the advantage because with with a thermal, you're less mobile. Yeah, I knew he was there. Again, the respawn in this game puts you close to the guy that just killed you. That's why they have the revenge points. I know some people aren't a fan. I'm not saying it's a great thing, but it's just the way the game works. So I know that guy's not very mobile with the thermal. He's going to have to get up and move. I flashed him. He did. I broke out the M10 and boom goes the dynamite. If anyone's played basketball, and uh, I played basketball throughout my well, teenage years, had a lot of great coaches, best teacher I ever had was a basketball coach, you know that you need to go against the flow, against the flow of the defense uh, to create opportunities on offense. That's what I'm doing here. I went against the flow of my team, against the flow of the game, and I went the opposite direction. You can see the opportunities it gave me right here. This team just didn't see this coming, and I got a lot of easy shots. You saw a group of three, four guys right there. That's fish in a barrel. So on every map it's the same, but especially on this map, you want to go against the flow of what's going on to create opportunities for yourself. It doesn't matter what weapon you're using. Oh, last stand. I got no chance of finding that guy in the bush. So uh, I'm just going to camp out here, see what I can find with the Predator. And... Oh! Oh! Talking about anticipation. Yeah, you know, that, that one reminds me of something my grandma used to say to me when I was a kid. She'd say, boy, pimping ain't easy. No, grandma. No, it's not. I can see my teammates are still going with that same flow at the beginning of the game, so I'm going to keep going the opposite way. I stay away from these bunkers as much as possible. Uh, that's just a cavern of death over there. Uh, it's my friend's dad, actually, SoCal Poppy. He's not that good, but I'll tell you what, he's a beast with the riot shield. He will riot shield your ass into oblivion. Laps around the perimeter, standard procedure on a lot of maps, especially when you're running with a sniper rifle. Always looking for cover. I never move anywhere in a map without a goal, without a destination in mind. If you don't know where you're going or why you're going there, don't move. Figure out a reason to move first, then move. If you're just wandering around, kind of running around, waiting to see what happens, you will get your face shot off. AC-130 standing by. AC-130 standing by. AC-130 
All right, AC-130, I get it. How do I miss this guy here? Oh, that's amazing. So here you get a good example of how not to lead a target. Watch this guy. Yeah, that was horrible. And somehow I missed this guy. He must have uh, marathon or lightweight or something. Okay, got him finally. Yeah, I never used the chain gun on the AC-130. It's just so inaccurate and the shots hit the ground so late. I actually don't use the AC-130 much anymore at all for that reason. Oops. <laughs> Almost got radiated to death. Or irradiated. Yeah, I went to college for something. Enemy care package incoming. Guys shooting their guns at the Cobra. Not a good idea. Oh, here's where I'm desperate for the last kill of the match to look like a badass. And basically what I end up doing is missing my last nine shots or so. So let's all enjoy the fail together, shall we? Yeah. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. No. All right, those are my thoughts on Wasteland, running around with the Barrett, and on life in general. Yeah, it's my buddy Danza. Who's the boss, baby?